over here at Dave and Buster's. It's been a while. Let's see what's new. It's like they're fixing Kung Fu Panda. play some his favorite tailgate toss I'm just gonna walk around see if there's anything new because it's been a while I know there's a couple new coin pushers I just don't know where they're at rampage I like that one all right, this is moved. This is our SpongeBob. That one's broken. All right, they moved it and put Minecraft in. That's new. Pong, I like that one. It's the big claw machine over there. Still the trouble on a Star Trek. Jelly Lab. Centipede. Alright, I'm gonna walk over here if I can see the new coin pusher. So they moved SpongeBob for the Minecraft game. Okay, so tailgate toss is broken. Oh, there it is. The Angry Bird Coin Pusher. This is new. This is what we want to try. Oh my god, they only stacked it on one. I thought there's supposed to be like stacks and stacks. Huh. the jackpot oh my god I don't, you remember back in the day when it used to be over 2,000 tickets for our jackpot it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous how bad he just won 50 is there any 500s on it no, I'm sorry for the 250, but... yeah someone's already won the 500s there's no letters out oh almost the double no letters out they need to so, well, so yeah so it restocks after so many, right. so many plays. Restock today. That's fine. Look at this. We just cashed in for our second Roomba. Second Roomba, and he still has 110,000 tickets. So um, I'll talk once we get in the car. This music is so loud. All right, we just left Dave and Buster's. Um, in that 20 second clip before this, I muted it out because the music was so loud. But that's our prize room. This is the middle of August, 2021. As you saw, the prize room is quite picked over. Like I was, Robert got the Roomba, thank goodness. There was like four Roombas, there are 100,000 tickets. Um, I wanted, I want a blender with my tickets, but they were out. And so, and then they had that VR game, the Oculus too. That's 130,000 tickets. I don't really remember them having it when we were here last they month. They didn't. Um, so we actually have the Oculus. Is that, am I saying it right? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's worth um, He actually paid cash for his $400, yeah. over four, I think it was in, with tax. 400, 400 and something dollars, but that was, yeah. 400, it ended up being $450. So we, um, we've played it. Um, I have the Jurassic World game on it and it is a lot of fun. So if you have a lot of tickets, I definitely recommend spinning the 130,000 tickets to get the Oculus too, because it is awesome. It hooks 
you don't need to hook it to a laptop it does not hook to your tv you just need to have a facebook account um and like i said i just loaded jurassic park so far and it's great um the roomba this is our second roomba we love the roombas and anyway i talked to one of the employees and asked about like why does it look so picked over um i'm sure if you're, you know the state of the world right now, there are shipping delays um, due to um, COVID, due to understaffing, due to ports being shut down in foreign countries. And so it's just a trickle down effect. And that is one of the things affecting them right now too. So if there's a prize you want, don't wait. It, who knows when they'll get it. Like you, there was no Playstations or Xboxes, right? Right, there was none of that, no. The Oculus 2 was the second highest I was ticket shocked item. Any, honestly, because all, all the blenders were gone. Um, all the, there was a toaster oven, but pretty much all the huge ticket items were gone. Um, it's one of those quick, the fry things, like what we've got, but it's just shaped differently. Oh, okay, those air fryers. Yeah. He said it was an air fryer. Yeah. I don't need one but of those. it was huge. Um, there used to be tons of Squishmallow plush. Those are all gone. The splush, the splush. The plush was definitely not as much um, there, so, but we don't claim tickets every trip. Just letting you know that if you claim tickets a lot or cash in your tickets a lot, this is St. Louis. I'm not for sure how other Dave and Buster's are, but definitely they are having shipping delays, so they're not getting their prizes in. Um, they also brought back the tickets. Um, you can use tickets to buy food. They have a set menu for that. It is different than what they had in 2019. A lot different. Robert was not impressed, so we're not. No nachos. Nachos. We used to get nachos all the time with our tickets. Yeah, they, I didn't look at it. Do you remember anything off the top of your head besides not being impressed? There were some broccoli impressed? bites or some crap. I don't know. Broccoli bites? Yeah. Or maybe it? no cauliflower bites. Cauliflower. Oh, and see, I don't know. Some veggie. Something fried. that I didn't want. Um, so. Anything else? Was there a pizza? Was there hot wings? No, no nothing, hot wings. nothing that we normally would eat. Nothing that we would eat. Whatever it was, it was nothing that we would normally eat. Um, so this is August 2021. We haven't been here for a month. Um, I am starting to get back into the swing of things. I'm sure we'll start coming back regularly. We did have to wear a mask. It is required. I would have worn a mask whether it was required or not. Um, this is St. Louis. Some places require it, some places don't. It's a little confusing. So it's best to, if you're in the St. Louis area, keep a mask in your pocket because you never know what the rules are gonna be. And um, so anyway, we just basically came to play the new Angry Birds coin pusher. I, if you watch those, I talked a lot in them. I don't know if you can hear because the music was super loud today. But overall, I did like the Angry Bird Pusher. When I first started playing, I didn't. But the more that played, the more I liked it. I could definitely see coming back playing. Now that I understand the towers and the purpose, um, I actually think it is a good way to get tickets. Robert only spent like, what, 200 of your credits? Mm -hmm. And he ended up with over 2,000 tickets, if not more. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't know what I started with. I, I know the I, new I, app, yeah. the new Dave & Buster's app is not as good as the old app and um so it's kind of hard to i think i only had two hundred thousand tickets and now so i got at least ten thousand tickets he, he, it's a lot of tickets he thinks he got at least ten thousand tickets on angry birds yeah i wouldn't be surprised that's the only game he well he did play zombie Although snatcher I might have once been, or twice i might have claimed someone else's points before me too i have no idea yeah the angry birds thing if you're used to the dave and buster machines it automatically puts without swiping your card like if you the last person swiped gets the tickets on Dave and Buster, on the Angry Bird, it doesn't work like that. It's the old-fashioned way where, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, just swipe your card to make sure you get the tickets, is all I can say. Because I walked up, and I got 40 tickets automatically. So, who the last person, maybe they walked away without realizing that they had more points to win. And so I got their 40 tickets. So, Robert's machine broke down. Um, he let him play. But the box where you swipe your card wasn't saying anything and so he was worried it wasn't registering his tickets and so the employee came and fixed it and gave him a bunch of extra tickets so we're not for sure what he actually won and what he got because of a glitch in the box so anyway no matter what we have a whole bunch of tickets after getting that Roomba he still has 130,000 tickets do we need three Roombas our house not that big <laughs> I'm going to hold out. He's going to hold out. I really wanted the the, the blender. And if we didn't, oh my God, if we didn't have the Oculus, he would have got that. But we already have it. I love it. My nieces want, keep wanting to steal it because it is awesome. So that's it. I've been rambling. We're going to go get some lunch somewhere else. 
and um if you like arcade videos please hit the like and subscribe buttons um main event is opening next month in st louis and i am definitely going to be going to that a lot i had a viewer mention a new pizza place art slash arcade in st charles i'm definitely going to be going to that so i know in a lot of 2020 i did not post many arcade videos but back in the groove i plan to post a lot more arcade videos so if you like that type of stuff hit the like and subscribe buttons and we will see you later